Hello, my name is Camille and welcome to my channel. If you're editing videos and using music tracks with your videos, you may often run into a situation where the music track is either too short or is it just too long for your video. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can make any music track to match the length of your video, especially if you need to make the music track longer in a way that your audience doesn't even notice that there is a cut somewhere in your music file. It is just completely 100% seamless and we are going to do this in Adobe Premiere Pro. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so right here I have a music track in my timeline in Premiere Pro and as you can see it has a fixed length obviously. So if we want to make it appear longer or shorter, what we want to do is we're going to take advantage of the fact that pretty much all music tracks, like definitely a majority of music tracks, have a repeatable pattern. It can be a chorus, it can be some kind of a crescendo, even if the song has no lyrics, definitely there is some part of the song that can be identified as a chorus. So for simplicity, we're going to assume that we have one chorus at the beginning and then the other chorus at the ending. So we're going to cut the music track into three parts, the beginning, the middle part between choruses and then the ending. So you could do that by just listening to the track and when the chorus is about to start you make a cut and then when the chorus is about to start again you make another cut and sort of eyeballing this. And if you do that this way it will be pretty close but if you stack the middle parts together the beginnings of the chorus will not exactly line up. It will be audible that there is a slight shift between the audio tracks. So if you want to make it really really perfect you need to look at the waveform and in order to do that we're going to expand this so in the vertical space we can see how the waveform is really shaped more clearly and then you can zoom in and you can see which parts of the waveform are repeated throughout the song. And as an example we're going to take this track and you can see that this track is pretty loud. It pretty much touches the upper part of the waveform very often but sometimes there is this little drop in the waveform and I can identify that the first time this drop happens is somewhere right here and then the last time the similar drop happens towards the ending of the track is somewhere right here. So instead of cutting we are going to place two markers. We're going to place the marker at the beginning where the first drop happens and then towards the ending of the track when the second drop happens. And then what you want to do is you want to duplicate this track. You can just hold the Option or Alt key and just drag this track onto another track. So we have two audio tracks. You can see that both of them have the same markers on the same positions. So we're going to just drag one of them in order to align the first marker of one of the tracks with the second marker of the second track. And then we're going to zoom in and we're going to see if we did a good job with placing the marker. And obviously it won't be perfect but we are going to align it by just looking at the waveform really really zoomed in. So after zooming in we can see that the alignment is pretty good but it could be done better and the key part here in order to be able to move the audio tracks very precisely is to switch to audio time units so we're gonna have to click this hamburger icon right here and click on the show audio time units then you need to disable timeline snapping because if you want to move one of the tracks very very slightly it will probably snap to the marker so we need to disable the snapping you can hit the s key or click on the little magnet icon right here and then you can really really fine-tune the alignment and you can see that this pattern that we have selected is really really the same in both of these places in the audio track. So after you have aligned it perfectly, just remove one of the markers, add it again in a place that both markers are now perfectly aligned and then you can enable the snapping again, you can zoom out, you can switch off the show audio time units and then you can actually make a cut at the marker, you can move this part of this track in this place and then you have one long audio track and what you can actually do is you can just cut off the ending and this marker and then you can repeat the middle part as many times as you want and then just use the ending wherever you want to actually end this audio track and that way the audio track can be made any length that you want to match the length of the video that you are editing. Pretty awesome right? You can also use this trick to contract the audio track because you can just cut off the middle part and just stick the beginning with the ending and then the track is seemingly shorter. So let me actually prove to you that this kind of cut is really unnoticeable and if you want to you can add a very short audio transition in the place of the cut. So let's listen together. <music> Did you notice? I didn't. It is really really seamless and the audience that is watching your video won't be able to notice this either. Alright, that's basically it for me for this video. If you found this tip helpful, make sure to leave it a thumbs up down below. Also consider subscribing to the channel because there will be more videos like this and I usually make photography tutorials, filmmaking tutorials, basically everything revolves around things you can do with your camera and I try to post videos pretty much every single week. So definitely consider subscribing if you don't want to miss out on future videos. But that's it for now, have a good day, see you next time and bye bye!